Hello students, now we are going to look at how to do a breadth first search and see if a graph is too colorable or not. So a graph is too colorable, which means if you can color the vertices of a graph in such a way, no two adjacent vertices are having the same color, right? Okay, so let's take up this graph. We do a breadth first search starting at A, so that is at level 0. Then you can visit these two at level 1. And then from B, you can visit C and E at level 2. From D, you already have E visited, so this is a cross edge. And uh, from C, you can go to F, so that's in level 3. Um, now from E, you already have F visited, so that's a cross edge. Okay, and F, it's on its own. So if you see here, uh, there is no cross edge. There are two cross edges, but the, those two cross edges are between vertices that are different levels. So this is what we need to use. So if the cross edges that are there in a breadth first such tree are only between vertices that are different levels, then that graph is a two colorable graph. Like we can do a uh, two coloring of this graph. Whereas if you take a look at this graph, you see here start at A, you go to B, D and E, they are all at level 1. So now when you are at B, you visit this E through a cross edge, similarly D through E is a cross edge. So uh, just the presence of even one cross edge between vertices at the same level in a breadth first such tree is sufficient to say that the graph is not too colorable. Because if, for example here you have to color, uh, color B and E the same color and D and E the same color. Okay. So let's look at these examples. So, uh, if you do a breadth first search on this, you get something like this. So let's start with A, you go to B and C, and then from B, you visit um, D. Uh, uh, sorry, from A, you can visit B, C, and D too, right? And E also. So all these four vertices are the same level. So right when you are at B and you're trying to visit D through a cross edge, you can right away stop and say the graph is not too colorable. Okay, if I ask you to find the too colorability of a graph. Okay, let's do this. You start at A, go to B, C, and E. You can color them in different color. And then from B, you can use the D and F, different color. And C, you use a G. That's fine. But you see now, you go to E, and then you go to G. But this cross edge, but this cross edge is between two vertices that are at different levels. And you see that whole graph is too colorable still, right? So this is another scenario where you can uh, say a graph is too colorable even though there's a cross edge. So just because there's a cross edge doesn't mean that the graph is not too colorable. Uh, if all those cross edges are between vertices that are of that are different levels, then the graph is too colorable. So only if you have a scenario like this, uh, where there's just one cross edge or at least one cross edge that's between vertices at the same level, then the graph is not too colorable. Okay.